Hello darlings and welcome to another Bedroom Guru with me, Nikki Allen. Wasn't that a whopper the other night doing that Zoom evening of mediumship? It was so lovely to see people in the flesh. Well, the best you can get in the flesh. Um, so thank you again for joining me, all those wonderful members of the tribe. We had a lovely evening and I hope that I helped um, and brought a lot of comfort to a lot of people. Anyway, today I'm always, always, always inspired to do various things as I do them. And I've been doing some pendulum work on my Mia, because as you know, she's poorly. She's doing all right though, she's doing all right. She's getting a lot of healing. Um, and so I thought, why not share it? I'm always thinking of you guys. So I thought, yes, I will share how to use a pendulum. My one is a very pale orange carnelian. It's quite a powerful stone. It's a real power sunstone. Um, and so I just wanted to give you a guide on how to use a pendulum to your benefit. Pendulums are used for many different things. Um, they can be used for yes and no questions. I've got paint on me, look. I'm trying to paint wardrobe, it went all drastically wrong. Anyhow, um, and they are basically used for either yes and no questions. Okay. Um, they can be used to sense spirit. They can be used to locate things if you've lost something. Lots of people use them on map work if they're trying to find someone who's missing. Um, they can be um, put over a physical body like I do with Mia. And um, once you align yourself to your pendulum, it may sway to show chakras that are out of balance or areas that need to be worked on. So very, very useful. When I first got hold of a pendulum many moons ago, i tell you where it was. I remember the very first time I was doing an evening of mediumship at Bethnal Green at the community centre there and um, there was someone there who had a pendulum I thought load of crap it's a bit of stone on a chain do you know what I mean I'm so skeptical it's terrible I think it's a good thing actually I think it's a healthy thing not to think everything's magical and spiritual do you know what I mean but um yeah so I said oh let me let me have a go of it and it was a hematite and I couldn't believe it because as soon as I touched it I said where's where's the nearest spirit person and it actually defied gravity and pulled me I couldn't believe it and it pulled me to this corner of this room. I was like, Jesus. And then I got all of the, you know, um, hairs going up the back of my neck and everything. No, and there was a spirit person. I'm like, wow. So I thought, yeah, I'll get myself a little pendulum. So I've had this one for years. Now, how do you actually align yourself to a pendulum? It's very much like, do you know when I do crystal of the week and I tell you how to align yourself to a crystal? It's really simple. I, I don't know if it is simple for everybody else, but for me it always has been. I basically just grab the stone. When you're going into the shop, okay, it's best if you get it from a shop. If you've got, got, got to do it online, that's fair enough. But go to the stone that you're attracted to on the pendulum, okay? Your your natural energy will go, oh my God, I want that one, okay? And then just hold it in your hand or even put it above your palm with your eyes closed and you'll feel the pull of it. Oh, I love that feeling. You'll feel the pull of it and you'll know that's the right one for you, okay? So it doesn't really matter what stone is on the end of it. Up to you, whatever you're attracted to, whatever your higher self directs you to. Um, all I do is I just hold it in my hand and then I invoke most probably Gabriel, one, because he's very similar because he works on a golden energy, and two, he's a messenger medium and, 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 uh, and allows connection with spirit um, and down here, if you like. Um, so I kind of like him for this, Archangel Gabriel, but I, I just go, Gabriel, please ask that you align this to my energy. Now, normally, if you hold it um, and imagine your whole energy going inside the stone and the stone then coming out around you, you'll wait until, I'll wait until it happens on this one, It'll either get really hot or it will start pulsating or it will feel fizzy in your hand or tingly. Which mine is. I've got a lot of healing energy going through me at the moment because of Mia. So it's aligned. Then what you need to do is align it to your voice vibration if you like, okay? Now one thing I, I always watch for is if I ever see anybody do pendulum work like on here or anything, I always see if they're moving their arm because it's like, do you know what? So I try and keep my arm as still as possible. Do you know what I mean? Which is really hard. So the first thing you need to do is align it to yes and no questions, okay? So you have your palm here, which is give, which is obviously securing the energy from below. And then you've got your energy as above. As above, so below, okay? So oh, I've got to try and keep my hand. It's hurting a bit, keeping my arm raised. But I'll try to do it for you. 
Okay, so first of all, please, and what you'll see is, is that it may start shaking. I don't know if you can see that on the um, video. Let's see if we can, look, look what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put a pillow under my arm because it's too painful for me to raise my arm. Should've thought of that, shouldn't I, before I did the video. <laughs> Right, okay, let's try it that way. Okay, so let's try and still it as much as possible. Now, what might happen is you might see it vibrating or bouncing, which is absolutely natural, it should do that. So what I'm gonna do first of all, I've already done it, can you give me the sign for yes? So mine is swinging, if you can see, from left to right, okay? So then you ask it to stop. Now can I have the sign for no? And as you see, it's now going round in a circle. Okay. Thank you. Right, that's my sign for no. So then what you do is, you try and centre it. And then you ask it a question to see if it's aligned. Oh no, stop reading my energy. Let me do it for the, 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 for the benefit of the video. Okay, so is my name Gertie? Can you see it bouncing? Is my name Gertie? Right, I don't know if you can see that, but it's doing a very, very, that's it, it's getting better now. Oh, I can feel that tingling on my hand big time. So it's now doing a circle, so that's saying no. Is my name Nikki? And now it's going backwards and forwards. Yes, fantastic. So now all you need to do is ask yes and no questions. And that's the way it works. Is the healing working on Mia at the moment? Yes. Is my name Nigel? Is my name Nigel? Oh, there you go. God, it's so hard to keep your hand still. It's now going round in a circle. And that is as simple as it goes. Sorry if I can't display it very well, but I can't lift my hand. But I think you can see that's going round in a circle. Can you see? And then the more it wants to reiterate, the more it will swing. So if we try and bring it back to the centre, please stop, please stop, please stop. Is there any spirit energy with me at the moment? It's going round in a circle, don't know if you can see that, it's going round in a big circle. Is it one of my family members? Yes. Is it my mum? Yes. Is my dad here as well? Yes. Hello, Mummy and Daddy. Here to heal me. I've asked them to be here. Is my Nan and Grandad here? Right, it's now swinging. As you can see, so that means no. So my Mum and Dad are here with me now, are they? And then it swings in a circle. And, um, just below the screen, you might be able to see my hands below it. 
if you close your eyes you'll actually feel the energy as it goes around your hand it's incredible so good and that in a nutshell in layman's terms is how you use a pendulum sorry i've got I've, my arm is hurting i can't raise my arms at the moment and that is how you use a pendulum that cool it's quite exciting lots of people um sometimes do it for babies as well so like if you're pregnant someone will put a pendulum over you and you say is it a girl is it a boy or whatever um but i find them really exciting i really like them so that is how you use a pendulum darlings it's a real nice little divination tool i really do like it sometimes i even use it i'll put some cards like upside down and i will um just allow the um the pendulum to just move over to what cards I need to take so there's lots of uses for it there really is um, so treat yourself to a pendant and have a little play it's just another little spiritual tool that helps you along this winding path of pantsness <laughs> it's true isn't it it's like shit sometimes it's just this life it just throws you some low ballers but yeah so there you go so that is how my darlings you use a pendulum and I've just thought, I don't know if I've done Orange Carnelian, I'm going to look at all of my crystals of the week and that's going to be my next video. So I'll speak to you again very soon. God bless you all. Keep doing good things. Mwah. Love you. Bye now.